He was a pioneer, a legend, someone that uh, people from his native Sweden and across of North America uh, called affectionately the Little General or the Professor. Lars Erik uh, Schoberg, also known as Taxon, uh, was a Swedish ice hockey defenseman. He played in his home country from 62 to 74 <coughs> with Lexan's IF from 62 to 65 and 67 to 69. Jill Gardens IF Hockey from 65 to 67, and Vastel of Rolanda IF from 69 to 74. Now, he was a part of the big European wave of the mid-1970s in the WHA, uh, taking the ice for the Jets uh, from 1974 to their first campaign in the NHL in 1980. Now, Schoberg uh, won the Golden Puck as a Swedish Player of the Year in 69 and was named Best Defenseman at the 74 World Ice Hockey Championships. Now, 5'8", 179, born in Foulin, uh, a strong two-way defenseman. He was the first non-North American born and raised captain in the NHL, wearing the C for the Winnipeg Jets during their first season in the NHL. Now, uh, uh, he captained the Swedish national team at the 1976 Canada Cup. Now, his style on the ice was very, very fluid, very similar, you would see, to kind of uh, a Kevin Lowe meets uh, Paul Coffey. Now, he wasn't uh, uh, too offensive-minded not to take care of the back end, and that's what allowed him to become uh, an effective scout uh, for uh, the NHL uh, before after retirement. He was working as a scout for the Rangers, but unfortunately, there was rumors going around he was diagnosed with cancer and passed away from the virulent disease in 1987. Now, to honor him, the Rangers each year gives out the Lars Eric Schoberg Award, the best rookie in the training camp. Now, uh, with the national team program representing Sweden, he won silver uh, at the Worlds in 69, 70, and 73, and uh, bronze in Switzerland in 71, and of course, 1976, uh, made a lot of friends and one of the first few WHA players to play in the uh, Canada Cup besides Bobby Hall and a few other key ones. Now, very rarely he would uh, put up big numbers until these final years in Winnipeg. With Lex Sands uh, in Sweden between 62 and 65, he only scored two goals in a regular season, but uh, did quite well in his, what was considered his best campaign in Sweden in uh, 1967, where he had 11 points in 21 regular season games, including four goals. Now, when he came over to the Jets in 1975, he put up some tremendous numbers, well-known as a playmaker, again, somewhere, somewhat on the point in the power play, 60 points in 75 games, including seven goals. 76, he had 41 points in 81 uh, regular season games, five points in the postseason. Now, the Jets lost to Quebec in the 77 half Gold Cup, but uh, despite some injuries in the regular season, he had 40 points in the campaign with six success in 20 uh, postseason contests. 78, he had uh, 50 points uh, in 78 games with nine assists in the postseason. And 79, again, helped uh, uh, Winnipeg to the AFCO Cup with a big three points and 10 playoff contests. His last season in the NHL was in uh, 1980. Again, he became the uh, longest captain, 34 points in 79 games. And uh, at the time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he was in close his second decade playing in major pro hockey and a tremendous result for sure. But what really stands out for me, ladies and gentlemen, is consecutive uh, appearances in the Olympics and in the World Championships. He played seven games in the 68 Olympics for Sweden. 69, he played nine games at the, at the Worlds, five points, uh, including three goals. 1970, 10 games. Played in the 72 uh, Olympics. A goal and assist for two points in six contests. Then in 72, 73, and 74 Worlds, where he put up uh, three goals and uh, three assists in 29 contests. And 76 to the Canada Cup, three big assists in five years. Now, many, many recognitions. Swedish Player of the Year in 1969. World Championship All-Star Team in 74. Best Defenseman at the Worlds in 74. Canada Cup, 76. AFCO Cup title, 76, 78, 79. WHA first All-Star team in 78, the Dennis A. Murphy Trophy winner in 78, an honored member of the Manitoba Hockey Hall of Fame 
and of course an inaugural member of the World Hockey Association Hall of Fame. Now there was some indication he might get a Hockey Hall of Fame induction, but like I said, that yet to be determined. But I think what he did for hockey, and uh, the, the flow of his game was just smooth as ice. You had Boreas Solomon and Lars Eric, and Lars Eric Schoberg was, again, a tremendous role model to every Swedish player that took the ice, a tremendous role model to uh, many fans, especially young children who uh, try to learn hockey on a defensive standpoint. He was just tremendous, ladies and gentlemen. And it was our honor to see him playing in North America after so much success over in Sweden. And he, again, broke the mold. He talked about chicken sweet. This man was no chicken in this guy. This guy was tough as nails, ladies and gentlemen. And what he did for the Rangers as scouting, a lot of the top players the Rangers have benefited from, from the 80s on, uh, are directly linked to Schulberg's eye for scouting because he would not only be a, a European scout, but look at the best of the North American players to learn the double system. Because the Rangers were the closest thing that the league had to a WHA team for uh, for the years in the late 1970s into the 80s because of their preponderance of skilled players. A very, very beautiful gentleman in and out, and he is greatly missed. You know what they say, life gives you twists and turns, but Lars Eric, uh, right before he passed away, he, I guess in published reports he was saying, well, it's, if it's time for me to go, I guess uh, that's that's what's going to happen. 43 is no life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm 58. My life is just beginning, and we, we do miss him a lot. So Lars Eric Schoberg, that's our legend of the week here. If you like what we're doing with our European uh, podcast on key players, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And a shout-out to the European followers on our channel. If you like what we're doing, uh, please give us a request or uh, you know put us in the right direction. Maybe you know, some people who should cover more. Maybe uh, European uh, teams or players that deserve more recognition if we miss it. It's not our fault. We It's an information channel. We learn from you guys. So if you want to make a request, they're always highly considered. Thanks for listening. Bye.